Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are here with the October horoscope. It's 2nd of October today and it's a beautiful full moon in the sign of Pisces which just happened today morning or yesterday night depending on your location. And this is the Purnima of the Adhik Mass, which has happened in 2020, a very auspicious beginning for this month and uh, the last quarter of this year. All right, so let's discuss a brief uh, about this month because we finally enter the transition month of Rahu and Ketu because now they are fully in the signs of Taurus and Scorpio respectively and the other big thing is Saturn has now gone direct Jupiter is also direct if you see here Mars is the only one who is retrograde and he is hovering around in the Gandanta zone moving quite slowly I guess uh, and he will be retrograde till November 14, so another 40 days, almost 40, 43 days. So it's a very crucial uh, month because now what happens is uh, the planets have become direct. And, and yes, of course, uh, Mercury will go retrograde by 13th or 14th, I guess, of October, depending on your location. And uh, yeah, Venus will also enter on 24th in the sign of Virgo, which is the debilitation sign. So what are the energies like in this month? So if you check carefully, the month has started with a full moon in the Virgo-Pisces axis. That is the axis which tells us that you need to work when you, need, when you should work. And you should relax when you need to relax. The Virgo sign, the sixth house, controls the part of the autonomic nervous system, which is known as the sympathetic nervous system. And the sign of Pisces, which is the original twelfth sign, controls the parasympathetic nervous system. So this, this part of the nervous system tells you when you should uh, react to some stress or any work any physical activity and the 12th house which is the parasympathetic control tells you when you should relax when you should sleep when you should uh, rest and when you should rejuvenate yourself so if you feel that you cannot work when you should work you are distracted then there's a problem in Virgo in the sixth house and if you feel that you are a victim of insomnia you cannot sleep when you should uh, then you have a problem with Pisces okay now this is the start of the month with this full moon so whenever a full moon is there we try to harmonize between the energies and the channels through which these results manifest so for example in this case uh, it's the Virgo Pisces full moon Purnima so therefore uh, many of you would have one of the two scenarios would have happened either you would have felt that oh I am extremely lazy I am not able to do anything or you would have felt I am just doing I am just running like like a machine there is no rest and when I go to sleep, I am not able to sleep. Okay. Now, of course, what happens ultimately that depends on your dashas and uh, your overall horoscope. And if you are new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me, then also you can find the website down below in the description section. And yes, this is Purushottam Man. So I must say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you have not watched the video on Purushottam Man, I will put it at the end of the video. You, you can please watch. It's a very special month, which comes not very frequently. So now that's how the month has started. So therefore, if you feel that you 
tend to take extreme so purnimas what does a purnima do purnima will uh, give you a feeling as if you need to sometimes go to the other extreme because both 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 the uh, both the luminaries like sun is sun is always full of light but now the moon is also full of light in this case so therefore as i said you could feel that enough is enough that's the statement <laughs> at least i have felt uh, in my case i don't know what about you you can let me know in the comments how you have felt uh, as the month has started uh, I don't mean to say that you are frustrated or it's bad, but what I mean to tell is uh, some certain area of your life, wherever this axis is falling, uh, the Virgo Pisces axis, you will, f you would have felt that um, energies are going in one particular direction, and you are craving for the other. Okay. So if this would have happened in your four ten axis, then um, you could have felt that your career and your home you know sometimes you are too much into career sometimes you are too much into home or seclusion which is the fourth house or it could be the other way around you know you may not be interested in either of them right so that's how it starts and sun is in 15 degree of virgo and moon is about to enter aries tomorrow morning it will enter aries and apart from this if you check mars is retrograde so you would have felt that you want to exert yourself uh, to a certain extent in certain area of your life which area of your life is it uh, it's the house which mars rules in your uh, horoscope actually okay two areas mars rules uh, aries and scorpio so that's the place uh, I would say primarily Aries because Aries is the Multricorn Rashi uh, for Mars. So therefore, uh, now this planet is retrograde but it is in Multricorn, okay, which is Aries. And it's himself situated there. And he's also the Lord of Aries. So that house where Aries is, that house, uh, because it's retrograde in Ashwini Nakshatra, you see. Ashwini Nakshatra is the Nakshatra which gives you a feeling as if you want to do some movement in it because it's the nakshatra which signifies movement actually so you would have felt that since the time mars would have entered aries some time back you know, things started materializing but now you might you are getting a feeling that was my decision correct what did i do what did i decide uh, did i decide uh, in a haste was was it a healthy decision so these are the different things which you will ponder and which you will be forced to ponder actually during this transit of mars and then when it enters pisces you can get a feeling that oh yes i really need to understand that um, things are equally important in the background not just in the forefront then Mercury is in Libra and he is going to go retrograde after some days, another 10-12 days. So uh, during this retrogression of Mercury, uh, because I already made a video on Mercury's retrogression in Libra, so I won't speak much. But Mercury, when he enters Libra, he tends to behave like Venus. So how does it? How does Mercury become Venus? Mercury doesn't become Venus. So Mercury sometimes wants a 50-50 deal you know, when you are dealing with any particular member of the opposite sex or business partner or anybody. But in life, in reality, 50-50 deals are not possible. That's what I said in that video that sometimes when you are in a... Um, with your spouse when you are dealing, it will never happen that you are doing 50 and the spouse is doing 50. It won't ever happen like this. Sometimes you will feel, oh, I am doing much more in the relationship and that person is hardly contributing. And sometimes the other person would feel like this. So, so in this case, when Mercury enters Libra, Mercury can also understand that, yes, maybe sometimes I have to, I, I have to understand that maybe I may not get that amount of reciprocation which I expect. But in the long run, uh, that's a better scenario because 
um, ultimately if you want to have healthy relationships with people not only with your spouse uh, you have to make sacrifices there will be disappointments there will be hardships there will be struggles there will be challenges but among them you still stick through them so that's what is the lesson of mercury not to just uh, keep thinking about one's own profit and loss i would say and then jupiter has now started uh, going direct in purva shada nakshatra in the sign of sagittarius so these are uh, so by 20th november if i'm correct he will enter the sign of capricorn so therefore the next 50 days are very potent for doing spiritual practices because uh, this is the time when jupiter is in multricorn and uh, not degree wise of course but sign wise so moon tricone means the person is uh, doing something which the person is supposed to do what's jupiter jupiter is basically sagittarius nothing else and jupiter at a higher octave is basically the moon that's why he gets exalted in the sign of cancer basically so now jupiter is wanting to do his duties very properly so check the lordships of jupiter and try to see what's going on with those lordships how are you feeling what are the things that you wish to do what are the things that you wish to achieve and by that if you act on it then you will realize that um, things are not that difficult okay so but the lesson for jupiter is you must act actually if you don't act then you may not see the results as per your desire okay and then we see saturn being direct finally so saturn's direct motion that's uh, that's a very beautiful motion because uh, saturn is already in um, own sign and uh, saturn is already uh, very strong there he is in the nakshatra of uttarashada yeah. it's like one degree of capricorn you can just check he's barely there and therefore uh, uttarashada is a nakshatra which wants to finalize so something related to the houses of saturn you will feel that i have to finalize them it's it's high time that i make certain decisions okay and then you have uh, Rahu and Ketu who have just changed their signs and I can pretty much see the results actually from the time they had changed last month. So therefore, this is a time when now Taurus and uh, Scorpio will become very prominent. So wherever these uh, planets are placed, uh, these, uh, sorry, these signs are depending on your ascendant. So for example, if you are Aries Lagna, then this is in your 2-8 axis. So these houses will really become very prominent and uh, you will see that unusual things will happen and uh, I, I have already made many videos on this Rahu and Ketu's transit so I won't speak much here alright. So please watch them if you have not watched and that will be all from my side okay. Thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me my website is down below in the description section and some similar videos related to this i will put it up here right either here or here right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him